Throughout the last three weeks, I've really been testing out a lot of micro SD cards, just kind of get to the bottom of this, because everyone always says, oh, my SD card wasn't big enough, it didn't have enough available space, or it was corrupted, or things like that, and I've heard many stories like that. So for today, I want to give you my top three micro SD cards. Uh, coming in number three is the SanDisk Extreme. Now, it's a little pricier, and that's why it gets third place, but as far as performance, you can't get better performance for the dollar. It is a little more pricier than the Ultra, but you get you gain that in speed. The write speed, as you've seen in my previous tests, are three times more than your average micro SD card, thus making the little additional price point not a bad choice. I would also like to take the time to add in the Samsung Evo Plus. The Samsung Evo Plus is not as fast as the Extreme, but it's in a similar price point. It has great available space and really good read and write speed. Thus, I'd put it in a very close fourth, if not tied, in third place. Moving along to number two is the Samsung Evo Select. The Evo Select has shown great performance, great availability of space, and is and is pretty much available everywhere. It's the budget Samsung card, yet it's still really doing some great performance. You can see how close it really gets to this Evo Plus. I mean, it gets really close, and for a, a dramatic price decrease, uh, it's definitely a card to check out for sure. Um, and lastly. And number one is the Sandus Ultra. Now the Sandus Ultra is not the fastest, but in my experience, it's the most consistent. They all have lifetime warranties, they're all spill and waterproof, but the Sandus Ultra just seems to me to, me to be the most stable as far as I've, I, I've owned dozens of them. I've never had an issue with them. I know they work with everything. Their average write, read, and availability of space is great, and they're really easy to find. The availability is great, and the price doesn't fluctuate that much. It's usually in stock, so you're not going to have to get ripped off on certain times of the year. If anything, if you uh, are shopping at the right time, you could definitely get deals on this. So that's my top four, my top three, uh, plus the additional one. Uh, let me know what you guys think. As I, you saw, I did all these tests, and it really did shed some light that not all micro SD cards are uh, made equal. Just because it's class 10 doesn't mean anything. You guys saw that some of the class 10 cards didn't perform very well at all. Now, uh, Samsung does have a, uh, a, their extreme is called the Professional, the Pro. It's a little bit pricey for what you get, so I didn't put that, it didn't make the top list. And then uh, there's also the Evo, which, you know, has great availability space, but really slow read and write speeds. Same thing with SanDisk. The SanDisk has a regular Class 10 below the Ultra. I don't recommend getting those uh, for the an extra dollar or whatever the difference is for a SanDisk Ultra or a Samsung Evo. It really does make up for the difference. So I hope this help. I hope this helped you out making your decision. Again, let me know if you think I missed one or you think one deserves the top spot. But otherwise, if you could, subscribe if you haven't already. Throw a little like, and we'll see you on the next one.